right, here is my classroom. It's a little dark, but you know. It's also like seven o'clock at night. Not as much light coming in as there will be at say, nine in the morning. But I think this is plenty of light considering that the students, for the most part, are going to be on their laptops about 95% of the time. So with a backlit screen, this isn't gonna be too horrible. But I think the lighting makes the class nice and comfortable. So we'll see how that goes. Got the Edison bulbs up there. But yeah, I guess I'll just take you through the classroom. So I got that up there. My stepmother hand painted that for me, which is really, really nice. Let's see, we got a fire drill, tornado drill. So you wanna know, now we're all safe. Some f fake news. The humidity in here is killing me. It won't stay down. So then I have this little bulletin board, sort of making it sort of movie themed, kind of go with an Oscar theme. So it says, and the award goes to, and then what I plan on doing is I'm gonna put like maybe like one, two, three, you know, four, five, six. And I can give out an award to somebody's writing or work for pretty much whatever I want to. Best, you know, use of, uh, you know, whatever. But in that way, I can sort of make it so that uh, everybody can get an award. Not just the kids who already have that writing talent, but maybe somebody who needs a little bit more encouragement. Maybe they can win an award for one thing that they do good every now and then. I got my TV here, which I'm really excited about. Apple TV hooked up. Let's see, we got Abe Lincoln up there. Be excellent to each other. He didn't actually say that, but, uh, well, he did in uh, Bill and Ted, which is where that quote is from. A little laptop tray. That way, if any kid forgets their computer, there's no excuse. I got a fully charged one right there. Like I said, I got my Edison bulbs up there. Pretty sure I've broken a fire code or two. We will find out as the year goes on, but uh, let's not tell anybody. My board here, sort of sectioned that off for normal class, advanced class, fun. Got all my textbooks over here that I've accumulated over the years. I've read all of these. Got Cthulhu, a nice little bust. My lamps, I got a nice Lao Tzu poster. He's a weird guy, but he said some really cool stuff. A bowl is most useful when it's empty. Uh, he's a weirdo. Got Rapture, my favorite video game, Underwater Sea, a Randy in Paradise, Gone to Hell. Got some Pokemon, Kermit, Spyro, Donkey Kong. Got my side little desk over here. Like 40 bucks at Walmart, so that wasn't a bad find. Get my mindset poster. My biggie poster. B I G P O P P A himself. Mm, little plant. Hopefully it will survive. I'm not giving my hopes up. Giving my hopes up? Getting my hopes up. I teach English. There's my desk. There's my chair. It's a pretty nice chair they provided me with. Except for that. I don't know what that is. Let's see. A mind needs books as a sword needs a whetstone. It's a quote from Game of Thrones. Although, after that finale, we are just not going to talk about that. Harlem Renaissance. Nice Victor Hugo quote. Gotta have my Jolly Roger. Person across the hall has a K-State flag. Somebody else has the American flag? No. Jolly Roger. And I've got some more posters up here because I got to look like somewhat of an English teacher. So there we go. And then moving over here. More posters. That one. Mildly inappropriate, but it's fine. It's fine. The kids don't get the reference. Got a nice chair here for people to sit and read at. Again, 40 bucks on the Facebook Marketplace. Who knew? Who knew? Sloth, remember to chill. Got some fun stuff. Not really. Doctor Who. 
Here's my classroom library so far. I'm working on it. About two thirds of these books say the word or have the name Walker uh, written in Sharpie on top of them. Uh, my mentor teacher's maiden name. I'm sure the students are going to ask what it is. I'm just going to tell them it was my middle name. Middle name. Maiden name. Turn the light on. All right. So here's what it looks like with actual light. And back over here is my beautiful llama lamp that I got at World Market. Oh, I'm going to get a lot of uh, Fortnite references with that thing, but whatever. Hmm. There's H.P. Lovecraft, some art printed on the page of a dictionary. I thought that was really cool. But yeah, and then here's my classroom set up. I'm going to have probably about 30 kids in each class, which is really going to be fun with 30 13 or 14 year old kids in one room. Uh, so I've set them up in groups of four. I think that's a good amount. I tried it with six and then I was like, that's, that's just not going to work. But I also set it up to where at each table, there are three blue chairs and one red. So what I'm going to do with that is I think that's how I'm going to randomize calling out kids and be like, Hey, whoever's sitting in the red chair, you're up first or whatever. But they're probably going to catch on to that, so uh, maybe it'll be next to the red chair, or across from the red chair, or diagonal from the red chair. Hi. All right, nice talking to you. Um, oh, here's my little stress ball. They gave this away at uh, the onboarding meeting. I don't know what that says if they're giving away a stress ball to new teachers, but uh, eh, I'm sure it's fine. But yeah, well, that's... That's most of it so far, so, uh, yeah.